the final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Jeopardize. It's five to ten minute mission to explore a strange new world, to level up an incompetent crew and preferably keep them all alive, to boldly go where the little mission marker tells you to go. We all know they don't make engines like they used to. So at some point, you're gonna need to give the old can some TLC. Just do yourself a favor and avoid doing that in the middle of an asteroid belt. Pay attention to that first syllable there and watch yours. It's like the old space crew say, if your crew member takes a hit, they're in the sh Physics 101, cadet. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. If the gravity is turned off on your ship and your crew is firing off extinguishers with no boots on the ground, what do you think is going to happen? That's right. They'll be flying backwards down the corridor faster than a falcon on a Kessel Run. In space, no one can hear you scream. So if you find yourself in a blind panic, and purge your ship without checking that your crew are at a safe distance, you won't hear all the abuse they're shouting at you either. Every cloud. Not all crew members are created equal, and most of them only do one thing well. Don't mix up your classes, or you'll get into all sorts of trouble. Allocate accordingly. Now you're starting to see why it's important you don't lose any crew members to asteroids, airlocks, or fire extinguisher-related incidents. Let's pretend for a moment that you haven't paid attention to a single thing I've said. You've lost a few vital crew members. You need to escape before losing any more. You've made use of those shiny new escape pods you had the foresight to install. But when you get back, some of your escape crew are nowhere to be seen. Before you hire a completely new bunch of recruits with absolutely no experience whatsoever, you might want to go on a rescue mission. They're probably floating around somewhere using their last minutes of life support to imagine all the ways to make your life hell if they ever see you again. But their experience could come in handy in the future. Well, that's about all the advice I've got for you right now. But I'm sure you'll discover plenty more ways to mess everything up over the course of your impending space adventure. It's a dangerous world outside your ship. And with you in charge, it could be an even more dangerous one inside it.
I'm Star Trek Online's executive producer, Steve Ricosa, and I'm here to talk about the upcoming console release for Star Trek Online for Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Star Trek Online is a full-scale, free-to-play MMO taken straight from the TV series and movies. With the extremely rich universe of Star Trek, we're able to bring hundreds of storylines from Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, Voyager, and more. Every player is able to have a custom Star Trek experience as the captain of their own adventure in the Star Trek universe. With Star Trek Online coming to console, you're getting content from 11 seasons and two major expansions worth of story arcs, featuring actors playing their characters straight from the show like Seven of Nine, Worf, The Doctor, Harry Kim, Lita, Tuvok, and many, many more. The difference that makes STO special is that it's an MMO designed from day one to feature both space and ground combat, essentially providing the gameplay from two separate games in one awesome package. One of the biggest challenges we faced when creating Star Trek Online for console was the control scheme. We had to figure out how to get a 72 key keyboard onto a 16 button controller, which was definitely no small task. We spent weeks figuring out a control layout that felt smooth, interactive, and gave players easy access to all of the abilities in the PC version of the game. We came across a control scheme that the team loved, and we spent months iterating our final layout to make it feel completely natural to fly a starship or lead an away team on a controller. Our most significant innovation for gameplay involves using our new command wheel to quickly and easily select powers from a range of options. These abilities can be mapped to the face buttons for instant availability. Finally, you can set nearly anything in these wheels to a smart auto-fire system to help you optimize the uptime of your abilities. These three features combine to provide you with a wide variety of strategic and tactical options for captains across the spectrum of skill ranges. The next thing we told ourselves was, if we're going to be on Xbox One, if we're going to be on PlayStation 4, we have to look like we belong on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Our core technology team brought us HDR lighting, clustered forward rendering, and light probes to give our artists the tools to make a complete relighting pass on the entire game. We feel the results truly make us look like we belong on the current generation of hardware. The last thing we decided to do was a complete overhaul of the UI. I know that as a console player, I find it awkward when I play a PC port with a UI that assumes I have a keyboard and mouse. We literally threw the entire UI away and rebuilt it from scratch, purpose-built to be optimized for controller play. These three changes are the major pillars of this port, but we've made countless updates that will make the game accessible and fun while still providing the full Star Trek Online experience. 
Players will get six years worth of fantastic Star Trek Online updates right at launch, including two expansions and 11 seasonal updates. Just like the PC version, the game is free to download, free to play, no subscriptions, and all of our content updates are 100% free. All you have to do to have an amazing adventure in the Star Trek universe is show up and have fun. Star Trek Online will be available on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One in the fall of 2016. See you in the final frontier. EVE Online is a vast universe, alive with the unrelenting activity and combined history of its players. Pursuing lives of adventure, warfare, and prosperity, they share this existence in the biggest single shard, free-to-play MMO of all time. Set 21,000 years in the future, Eve takes place in a distant cluster of over 7,000 star systems known as New Eden. It is a rich and diverse universe, featuring densely populated havens of relative safety, governed by four great empires. Hostile systems, where player alliances make the rules. Even regions of anomalous and unexplored space that hold their own secrets. You play as a Capsuleer, a revered breed of highly trained pilot, having achieved immortality through the use of cloning technology. You navigate the universe encased in an armored capsule deep within your ship, where you have complete neural control and function as one. There are hundreds of ships to fly in EVE. Everything from small, nimble craft and versatile mid-range vessels to formidable warships and colossal freighters. Each has advantages and suited roles, but all are completely customizable as you decide how to equip and arm them. What you do in New Eden is entirely up to you. Eve's immense sandbox gives you the opportunity to choose between multiple professions and activities. The key to this unique customization of your playstyle is skill training. This is a passive process and it continues whether you are in or out of game. As a new player, you can focus on one specific area in order to quickly reach the same level of specialization as a veteran. So be adventurous and explore new avenues of development for your character, as you can always change role and reinvent yourself if desired. If you want to fight, Combat in EVE can involve solo missions against non-player adversaries or small group skirmishes, while for some, it can even be the thrill of fleeting up with thousands of fellow pilots and battling over disputed territory. If you want to explore, then the discovery of uncharted space and ancient regions that promise riches, danger and adventure await you. You can also engage in the business of prosperity, be it industry, mining, or even interstellar piracy. The beauty of life in New Eden is that all of these activities, and many more, can be done alone or with others. A unique in-game market, unprecedented in scale, and degree of player control is the beating heart of New Eden. Players are responsible for the manufacture of almost everything you can buy or sell. 
the gathering and refinement of resources, the building of ships, equipment, and even some space stations. EVE's players are core to how the universe is filled and how the economy thrives. Players in EVE can band together to form corporations where they can enrich their experience, learn new elements of gameplay, and share their wealth and goals. When these player-run corporations grow to become larger entities, they can merge with other corps to form alliances. Powerful alliances regularly compete for control and influence over large areas of space, waging wars and engaging in record-breaking battles. Even taking down well-defended, sprawling, player-built space stations. In the spirit of exploration and mystery, new content and experiences are constantly introduced into the universe, with over a decade of free expansions leading to continual development and evolution of gameplay. While every action and decision has consequences for the universe and its hundreds of thousands of players, the game remains very much about your unique adventure and story. A story that will forever be woven into the fabric of Eve. Do you dream of the stars? The vast unknowns waiting to be discovered. This is no single mission, but a call to the cosmos, to a galaxy in constant motion. There are always more stars to discover, more civilizations to encounter. More worlds to explore. It's a vast galaxy full of wonders. Political tension, diplomacy, Betrayal and deceit, and it is yours for the taking.